If you don't know what this is, then you need to watch my last video. For all of you guys that do know what this is, a question came up. They said, what if the reason why these contacts are getting hot is the cheap Chinese batteries, right? What if they're getting hot and then that's causing the contacts to get hot? To which I said to myself, I don't have an answer for that, but I do have, but I could do a quick test and figure and rule out that the batteries are not the ones getting warm at four amps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the one module loaded up with different cells, like, you know, brand, brand name cells. And then we'll run that same test that we did. We'll try to load it up with uh, about four and a half amps and then see if the temperature rises again. Okay, here's our testing equipment. Okay, these are the cheap Chinese cells. Let's try them first and see how much heat it's created. Three amps, 3.4.4, perfect. So 97 watts, 4.4 amps. Oh yeah, these cells are hot. The cells are like at 120 and then the contacts. 144 on these guys, apparently. That's the alarm. The, the voltage is sagging enough to trip the alarm. Okay, so they got to 145 degrees. That ain't right. I mean, yeah, how much of that heat is coming from the contacts? the terminals how much of that heat is coming from the actual cell well let's put some good batteries in there all right here are the good batteries these are NCR 18650 these are Panasonic's they're used but they still have full capacity they're 3,000 milliamp hours so maybe it's not fair because they're bigger and so they will be able to give us they'll have a less They'll stress less trying to give us a hundred watts. Four point zero amps, ninety-eight watts. Oh, so there's this is uh, four volts more because uh, batteries are, you know, they're. Freshly charged. So the voltage is slightly higher on this battery pack right here, so the amperage is a little bit lower. So you have to take that in consideration, right? The other one was four and a half, I think, at a maximum. I mean, definitely everything is running cooler. Eleven minutes in to this test, and um, everything is cooler, but the voltage is higher, so there's less amperage. So there's lower uh, levels of current. Now I might explain why. Although look at that, it's uh, 122 according to this thing right there. At 15 minutes, this test is longer and everything is cooler, but the voltage is higher. So let's try so another set of batteries. All right. These cells here are 30 amp capable cells continuous. That means that 4 amps should not create any heat or very little. Um, 
So let's run this test and see where the heat starts and where it's to travel from. So in conclusion, it does seem like the quality of the cells will have a small effect on the amount of heat that is going to be created in this system, right? On a good high drain cells, we never saw anything above 120, 130 degrees, even when it went down to the lower voltages, higher amperages. And so there you go, it does play a role. Now while I was doing this test, I accidentally mounted the cells backwards. And that's a huge problem because unless you're 100% concentrated on what you're doing, the likelihood of uh, you putting cells backwards or you know the little holders, right? These holders literally have plus and minus on both sides of things. So it's very, very, very confusing. And I think it's gonna happen a lot. So now I have to think about the possibility of having to add reverse polarity protection. Now, of course, that's extra expense and complexity to the system, so I don't know if it makes sense. What do you guys think? Is it worth it to add another dollar or dollar fifty to each board worth of components to be able to protect uh, that one time that you're loading up cells? Let me know what you think down in the comments, and if you have any suggestions about how we can achieve a very simple, affordable, uh, you know, reverse polarity circuit design, uh, you know, put it down in the comments, send me some links so that we can decide if it's feasible or not to do that to every single board. All right, and with that, I say until next video. But of course, not before saying thank you to every single one of you guys that support this channel by liking, by, by viewing, by liking, sharing the videos, and by donating, either becoming a Patreon and all these other forms that I have set up on this channel. Also, I do wanna remind you that I have a Facebook group where we share our designs, our pictures, our build progress, all that stuff. Follow this link right here and also down in the comment section so you can join us and you can share your projects with us. All right, guys, see you on the next video. Bye.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.